I'm going to do a review of Mountain Dew Hard Black Cherry. So, this is the third review. I got one more review for tomorrow. And then I'm done for the uh, Mountain Dew Hard flavors. Unless they release other ones, which I'm not planning on buying anymore. Unless they get a release in New York State. So... Unless it gets released near its plans, I'm buying any. I'm not gonna buy any more online because it's just way too much money for. Hold on, I gotta let the dog in, so I'll be right back. Smells like cold red a little bit. Hmm. You know what it tastes like? Citrus cherry. Tastes like citrus cherry. Game fuel. That tastes like citrus cherry a lot. And it doesn't have as strong as like alcohol flavor like the other ones or the other two had. The Baja and the uh, the watermelon one. So this is kind of strange because this doesn't have like as much of an alcohol taste to it besides uh, it being alcohol related. Which is weird because usually they all taste the same if they're alcohol but this taste doesn't have as much of a alcohol taste is actually pretty good i actually would probably recommend this over the baja because the baja has a really strong alcohol taste to it this really doesn't have an alcohol taste to it, it tastes exactly like citrus cherry the only thing indication that it has alcohol in it is the five percent on the top it does not taste like alcohol it tastes like citrus cherry game feel Pretty good. Now, I'm not a big fan of cherry flavored sodas. It just can't be tasting like cough syrup, like the uh, Rise, um, I forgot what it's called. Rise uh, Cherry, or not Rise, but it's now called Mountain Dew Energy. The Mountain Dew Energy um, Cherry Lime Uplift, that tastes a lot like um uh medicine this does not taste like medicine this tastes actually pretty good so tomorrow's flavor is going to be the regular one and then i'll be all done for the flavors of the mountain dew uh hard flavors um, although, when they do come out in New York State again, if they when they come out in New York State, not again, but I mean, when they come to New York State, I am going to do a re-review of them. Um, probably not, maybe not in the 12-pack or anything, but there is going to be the uh, taller cans that they're going to be coming out with. So I'll be, redoing, I'll be doing a review of those when, when they come out in New York State, which I don't know if it's this year or next year. The PepsiCo employees said it's actually going to be later on this year if it's not next year um, they just got to get a new uh distribution center or something to distribute this throughout the state so but eventually when this comes out i'm going to re-review it again so and the uh, tall cans not the uh i might buy a 12 pack you know not, not a 12 pack i don't know how many are in these i think this is they don't call it 12 pack they call it a mixed pack. So, I don't know how many... 12, yeah, there is 12 in here. Anyway, um, when there, my, I might not necessarily buy a 12-pack of these and do a review. I might just buy the tall cans. But I'll I'll do another, re, another review of these um, 
when these come out in your state, but I'm not willing to buy another 12 pack offline because it was like $70 for a 12 pack offline, which is ridiculous. So eventually when these come out in your state, I'll be doing a review of them. But uh, besides that, after tomorrow is going to be the end of the, uh, of these reviews um, for the hard Mountain Dews. Um, I would actually probably have to say they could have did a little bit better. Um, it kind of, it's, I think it's like Mountain Dew might have just kind of, I don't know. Um, they could have did a little bit better with them, but I'm going to be doing, talk about that tomorrow after I've um, done reviewing. I'm going to be talk, having a separate video. I'll be talking about what I think, uh, what I, what I think of these flavors. Um, to be honest, this is the best one so far because, to be honest, the Baja was okay, but it had too strong of an alcohol flavor to it. The watermelon, same thing, but this one is probably the best one so far. I just don't think it's um, right to have Baja with alcohol. It just doesn't taste right. Same thing with the watermelon. I just don't think it tastes right with the alcohol. Um, but this one tastes pretty good. I'm probably not going to like the regular one either, but I'll do that review tomorrow. I'm actually going to put it in my uh, mini fridge right now. So this review will be tomorrow. So. But I actually think this flavor... The, uh, the black cherry is actually pretty good. I'm definitely going to give this a 10 out of 10 rating because even though I like Baja Blast, I didn't think it was that good. I think the alcohol overpowered it. And then the watermelon, the same thing. But this one, actually, the alcohol doesn't overpower it like the other flavors. I don't know what the regular one's going to taste like, but it's probably not going to taste that good anyway. I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see until tomorrow. But definitely, 10 out of 10 on this. This is actually pretty good. Actually, I think this one is the best. Like I said, this one's the best one so far out of the other all the other 